Sayyidina, what year were you called to be or to be a bishop? 1992. And were, were you ordained a general bishop first or directly on the diocese? Yes, no. I was ordained as a general bishop. Uh, I served one year as a secretary of His Holiness Pope Shenouda. Then I came to the diocese in 1993 as a general bishop. Then I was enthroned in 1995. How, how many states, Sayyidna, are, are in your diocese? Eleven states. Eleven states. And Sayyidna, when, when you first heard that you were going to be ordained a bishop, what were your first feelings? Actually, I, I was very, very overwhelmed with the responsibility because uh, it's, it's a big, big responsibility. Uh, and I remember very well, uh, His Holiness used to do a celebration uh, for the new bishops and uh, His Holiness asked each one of us to, to say a, a word and I remember I said in that meeting that I have the feeling like King Solomon when he became a king that I am very very uh, unable to, to do anything in this service the service is beyond and above my ability and uh, that's why I said I'm asking God to give me the wisdom and I ask the prayer of His Holiness and all the bishops and fathers and the congregation to, to, to ask God to help me to give me the wisdom to, to be able to serve with faithfulness and with, with righteousness um, it was overwhelming and still it's overwhelming and then Sayyidina since your diocese is so big, what kind of activities have developed and evolved over the, over the years? Thank God there are many activities, uh, activities that are very common to each church and each diocese, like the youth conferences. Uh, we start to organize it to be one for the diocese. We unified uh, the responses for the deacons. When I used to travel from a church to church, I found, you know, uh, the responses are not unified, so through the grace of God, we unified the responses. Uh, also, we start to publish some uh, books, uh, church books, like the liturgy book, uh, like the book of the melodies, uh, service uh, of the deacon, uh, the different services like baptism, and uh, through the grace of God, the Agpeya will be out very, very soon. Also, we started some program like Theological Seminary program and uh, Family Minister program uh, to uh, prepare uh, servants for the family. Also, we have uh, uh, San Verina Resource Ministry. It's like a networking uh, to help people to find you know, uh, resources when they need. We established HOPE, which is short for Help Other People Excel, uh, to address the needs of the people, whether here in the diocese or outside the diocese. Uh, also, uh, our website, uh, the diocese website, we uh, are very careful to, to, to have many, many information available so it will be uh, beneficial to others uh, through the grace of God we developed Sunday school curriculum program uh, also through the grace of God we established St. Mary and St. Moses Abbey in Corpus Christi we, we purchased St. Stephen uh, retreat center to be like a center for all the conferences uh, these are some of the activities that God helped us to accomplish through these years. Aside from all that, Sayyidna, is there anything that you feel that you want to do or accomplish within next, within the fu in the future, in the, within the diocese? There are some uh, services that we need. Uh, for example, uh, we need a, a, an organized service for the singles. Uh, their number is growing and uh, they don't fit in any group and actually we need uh, to have service for them 
also the senior citizens uh, especially those who uh, came old and they don't know the language and they don't know how to adapt to this culture and also are working on uh, establishing like a senior citizen uh, center for them uh, also another uh, thing we need to work on uh, to have like a center for addiction and uh, last week actually I was speaking with his grace Bishop Sarabian uh, if we can uh, make like a, a Coptic center uh, to treat addiction and to do rehabilitation uh, so there are many ideas and we are asking the Lord to help us Sayyidna, within the, within the Tazbaha, what, what do you think your favorite part is or your favorite hymn? Actually, Tenuwe uh, Sok is one of my favorite hymns uh, because I, I, I personally feel we renew our vow and our commitment to follow the Lord every day. And uh, uh, its tune is very, very fulfilling, especially with chanted with five different tones based on the season. So this one of my favorite, uh, its meaning, the music, uh, everything about it really touches my heart. Mm. And kind of random Sayedna, but since you've been here for several years in the United States, is there any funny stories or anything that happened with your grace here that you'd like to share with us? Actually the funny story is how I came here to United States. Uh, you know, as a monk, I, I, I was reluctant to accept the service because I wanted to uh, stay the rest of my life in the monastery. And uh, finally, I agreed to come here uh, on one condition that I will just stay for one year and return back to the monastery. When we came here in 1989, at that time uh, there was no our visa, religious visa. Uh, the only way to come here was to have a green card. And when actually I started applying and uh, they told me in the embassy in, in Egypt that you need a green card, uh, I tried to convince them I'm not going to immigrate, I'm just going to serve and return back. So I refused to take a green card and I asked them to give me any kind of visa. Uh, and at, this, at that time I didn't, un, I didn't realize that many people were dying for the green card. And I think for uh, the embassy to find somebody telling them, no, I don't want the green card and to insist on not wanting it and try to find excuses. And one of the excuses I used I told them uh, His Holiness will visit in August 89 and we were speaking in June and I told them I need to be there before His Holiness visit so just a green card I know it will take several months until I get it so just give me any visa and after the visit of His Holiness I will apply for the green card so they told me how fast you wanna go there I told them within one week or ten days so they gave me the green card in three days actually. I applied on Monday and I got it on Thursday. Uh, and when I came here and I found people are dying for the green card, I, 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 I discovered that what I, what I was doing is really funny, but I didn't realize it was that funny. <laughs> Your grace can get us some more in the future. <laughs> well, is there anything, Sayyidina, that you'd like to say to our viewers on CYC? I like to conclude with the words of His Holiness uh, Bob Shenouda, uh, which he said to the youth, but actually I want to say it to everybody. Uh, His Holiness used to say, the church without youth has no future. Uh, and I remember Bishop Musa said, and the youth without church has no future either. That's what I want to say, that without the church, we have no future, neither on earth nor in heaven. That's why we have to be steadfast 
and strong in our commitment in our relationship with the church because the church will guide me to the way which leads to eternal life so be confirmed in the church and through the church the body of Christ actually we will uh, have our eternal life uh, with all the saints thank you so much Sayyidina for giving, this blessed, giving us this blessed opportunity